This is ABC 7 News at 6. Conservation and farming are often competing interests, but climate change is putting new pressure on growers to embrace new technology. That's a key topic of the World Agriculture Expo going on in Tulare in the San Joaquin Valley. ABC 7's Money Scope reporter David Louie is there tonight. And it's certainly interesting to see the kinds of farming concepts that are catching on now. And David, howdy. Yep. Yes, indeed. The agriculture industry, California's largest, is getting hammered from multiple fronts. We're talking about climate change, higher uh, wages, and also uh, higher uh, fuel costs. No wonder technology is a major focus as 100,000 farmers gather here at the World Ag Expo. Bad weather can be devastating for crops, affecting their quality and yield. Springtime hail, for example, can damage budding fruit trees. The answer? setting off sonic cannons to break up the ice pellets before they reach the ground. California vineyards are seeing a new crop of technology appearing in their fields. These are climate genies created by Bay Area-based grape networks. Their sensors connected to a Wi-Fi network that monitor temperature, humidity, light, and soil moisture. A new tool to alert growers when conditions threaten their crop. They've had catastrophic frosts where they've ruined, the whole vineyard has been ruined. So they understand that if I can get that data and I can save my crop or I can make a better crop, then I'll, I'll use that. 17 battery-powered sensors are deployed over this 50-acre vineyard near Modesto, replacing a traditional weather station that would only track readings in one spot and require someone to gather the data. Instead, the sensors not only collect data, they act as nodes, relaying conditions from all the sensors and sending them to vineyard managers over the Internet. This is the raw data coming in from the field. Decisions can then be made, for example, whether to water or to apply sulfur to stop mildew. You want to have an even crop. So if everything is even in my vineyard and I have a good crop, it's consistent throughout the vineyard. If I get an area that, say, 5% or 10% is bad, that 5% brings down my whole vineyard. So it brings down the value of my crop. This can lead to consistent vintages and higher quality wine. While this technology has been quickly embraced here in California, there is a part of the world which says it's desperate for this technology. We're talking about Australia, which has been hit by multiple years of drought. Peter Sefalev was invited to Australia a few months ago to demonstrate his sensors. The drought there is threatening a wide range of crops, and Australia's government is seeking technology solutions. We have a range of Australian companies here at the World Ag Expo that will be looking at that, and we're hoping to work with U.S. companies, obviously, to bring in innovation from the U.S. and try to find ways to adapt that. The situation is so serious, the Australian government is offering its farmers $20,000 to do a water use assessment and to deploy water conservation. The grape network system we showed you costs less than that, and the company now is in serious talks to export its technology from California to down under. We're live at the World Ag Expo in Tulare. David Louie, ABC7 Money Scope.